Hey folks, it's time for the Twip Pro Photo Critique, number one, one, two. This is Twip. Hey, welcome back to another This Week in Photo Photo Critique. Once again, I'm joined by my partner in crime and fellow nitpicker, Mr. Troy Miller. We're going to be uh, diving into the submissions to this week's critique topic, which was shadows. 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 The shadow nose. <laughs> yeah, we got some really good ones, too. Yeah, there, there's some really good. I have a favorite. Well, when we discuss this, we, we both have a favorite. And finally, we agree. Well, we usually agree. Sometimes <laughs> yeah. we don't agree, but usually yeah. we agree. Um, but yeah, there's some good ones in there. We had 19 submissions this week. I know. 18, 18 or 19. Oh, Yeah, so people like shadows. So we're going to do that one. Uh, we're going to run through these. Um, and next week's is interesting. I think it was either Karen Sweeney or Amy Brooks, the TWIP members, um, suggested we do the topic, photograph your favorite song. Photograph your favorite song. So that's However the you, next topic, right? That's, that's the it. next topic. Yeah. <laughs> that's the next topic. However you choose to interpret that, photograph your favorite song. Mm. So I want to see, I want to see what people come up with that. I have some ideas. I have some ideas. I, and I think that's, that's particularly interesting because I had to think about that when she said that. I thought about it a little bit. But you think about music and music is, you know, especially digital music, you know, these days is a, almost a direct analog to photography. You know, right, the waveform right. and the clipping of highlights and the of lows and resolution and creativity and, you know, art form and gear and all. <laughs> there's a lot of there's yeah. a lot of parallels with with photography and music. But yeah, but favorite song. What are you, you going to do? I have a feeling Troy Miller is going to do something that has to do with EDM or techno or house or something like that, right? Do you, yeah. uh, you want, you want yeah. to share it? What is it? What is it going to be? Well, you know, we've been, you know, you, uh, I've got the Masterclass uh, subscription, which was gifted by you. Thank you. And so I watched the Tiesto and uh, I mean, Dead Mouse, and I was like, Okay, I'm gonna do one of those songs. I'm probably gonna do Ghosts. Ah, oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, interesting. There's gonna be fire. Fire is gonna be involved. This will be a good. This will be a good look into the psyche of the the Twip membership, right? To <laughs> right, see what people, right. Yeah. What What do people listen to? Like, what do you What do you listen to? We see some cowboy hats in there, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Or you know, uh, the Gambler. You know, Kenny Rogers, the Gambler. So we'll see some cards on tables and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have some ideas. I have some ideas. Should be good. Yeah, there's there's so many there's so many good opportunities. But right now, you know, well, always I'm always listening to EDM or house or something. So yeah, you know, it's got to be one of those. That's that's hard though, because it's just boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with the yeah. occasional horn. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. And I like house. I, I'm, a, I'm a house head, so you know I'm right there with you. But I wouldn't say that's my favorite genre of music. It is one of my favorite genres of music. I don't know that I have a favorite song though. No, I I don't know that I have a favorite desert island song to choose from. It's gonna that's gonna be hard. Um, mm, no, I don't know. I don't I don't have a song either. It's it's more like a collection of songs that it's play together. Genre. Yeah, it's and, and it's mood based. Yeah. It's it's like what mood are you in? You know, sometimes I'm in the mood for classical. Sometimes I want to hear like movie soundtracks. Sometimes it's you know gangster rap. Sometimes it's house. You know, it, it's across the spectrum. It depends on and it depends on what I'm doing. If I'm driving, I need a specific kind of music. <laughs> and I imagine when I get on that motorcycle, I'm going to need a specific kind of music. Too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh -huh. that's true. It's a Rob Zombie or something. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, see, that immediately makes me think of The Matrix. So, uh -huh. yeah. Dragula. Dragula. Yeah, Dragula. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Cool. All right. Let's drag ourselves into the critique for this week. Let me say you. Yay. Let's do it. All right. First shot up is from Alicia. I like that. I love those reflections. I, I dig it. I wonder. Well, basically, reflections in the water is all shadows, right? So mm -hmm. um, I, I, I love the shadow aspect of it. I'd probably crop it up from the bottom. I don't know. I, I don't know what your thoughts are. I feel like there's too much too much uh, foreground. Yeah, I think I, well, I see what she was trying to do because the, the topic is shadows, right? So 
if you look at it as a whole, the, you know, the, the driftwood or whatever that is sticking up and the shadows of it, that's the whole subject. Then she's dead center in the image with the subject. But if oh, you didn't, yeah. know, if you shadow, didn't yeah. know the topic was shadows, then you only see the branches sticking up and they're, they're a little bit too close to the top. So, you know, all in all, I think I would have brought it down a little bit just so that it's more grounded. Mm hmm. And it's, you know, things, shadows generally fall low anyway, right? So bring them, bring it all down low and have a little bit more headroom up there. Maybe a little bit more space on the left and right, too. Right. And, and you could even bring this down to the point to where that, that log is almost silhouetted. You know, bring the shadows down mm -hmm. um, and make it a little bit more obscure. But, um, you know, the way it's presented is really nice. I mean, this it, just even looking at the icon that was in, in Mighty, I was very I was very excited about it. So, yeah. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, not not a lot I can add to that. She did a great job. Mm hmm. Yeah. You don't want to see a bride in this scene? What are you saying? No bride? No fire? <laughs> no, like, what's going on? Because <laughs> I'm guessing that, that that isn't big enough for a bride, but, you know. No. no. Maybe and by an the way, just, just a request. I know you like photographing brides, and I know you like photographing fire. Try not to do those two things together. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I have ideas. Uh, I just uh -oh. haven't done them yet. <laughs> <laughs> great. All right. We'll keep an eye out for that. <laughs> All right, next shot is from Amy Brooks. Ooh, this is so cool. Yeah, I love this. This these tones are sweet. Yeah, yeah. This is this is really wonderful. It makes me want to go to Glamis and go ride. Um, oh, on the quad or something. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. We spent a lot of time, you know, riding in the dunes. Uh, this is this is really beautiful. One one of the things that I do a lot when I see these type of images is I really want to see those shadows go really dark. And I don't know if it's mighty or, you know, the web, <clears throat> but it feels like the shadows are a bit thin. So I would I would push them down. So it'd be even more more dramatic because right now uh, the highlight part of it draws, draws your eye and the shadows aren't really a big play. Mm -hmm. But you'd you want know. to see those shadows pushed all the way down to black, you mean? Uh, in some areas, yeah, yeah, yeah. there should I, I think there should be a black point in this that I'm not I'm not seeing. Mm -hmm. And again, um, just to be fair, that may be you know the compression coming across the web and streaming True. and everything. It's hard to tell, but yeah. um, graphically, I love it. I I would probably simplify the crop by getting rid of that dune in the lower left hand corner. Hmm. You know, I don't think it adds anything. It's out of focus. Um, mm -hmm. And I think the abstractness that's in the core, the center of this image is really, really the 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 hero. Yeah. Cool. And we have a trap in the top left hand corner, that little triangle. Oh, you get rid of that. Yeah. Yeah. This was, this is one of those that would look good big, too. Oh, yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. the dunes are just fantastic. So many shapes and everything in there. And scale, it's so hard to know how big this is. This could be just a little tiny, mm -hmm. you know, dune at your feet, or this could be, you know, a 50 foot high, you know, drop off right there. Like, we don't I'm know. I'm going to go with the ladder. Uh, this feels probably. Big to me. Yeah, this feels big. Yeah, maybe, maybe it would have helped to have some footprints in there walking and there, across. I, I think there are footprints across the top right edge. Uh, See oh, that, okay, that yeah, dune? right on that ledge there, yeah. Yeah, okay. I think those are footprints, so it's big. It's definitely big. I need the cliche of a camel in there somewhere. <laughs> 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 uh, love it. Cool. Amy Brooks, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Or a land speeder. A land speeder, right? There. Or a land speeder. There you go. There's some AT-AT walkers in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Armando Brook is up next. Uh, I love this shot. Oh, this is so good. I love this shot. Talk about drawing you in and, you know, the, the, the graphical nature of this and the special effect. Yeah, right? Don't say what those are. I'm, uh -uh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that we don't say what the special thing is about this image that, that the viewer has to find it. Yeah. Because uh, I looked at this image for a little while and I had to read his caption. Mm -hmm. to, to see what I had what I had seen, but what I didn't quite, you know, connect with. So <clears throat> um, the shadows are wonderful. The the highlight and shadow differences, you know, the, the tone splitting is, is really well done. I love that. Um, nobody is, is clipped at the edge of the frame, which I really dig that. Um, we have somebody tight at the top, tight at the right. I would maybe crop the bottom a little tighter to add a little more tension where that person at the bottom is just leaving the frame, you mm -hmm. know, like right yeah. at the edge and just clean up the surface of the ground. Like there's at the very top center, there's an item on the ground and some little black specks around. Um, I would probably speckles take, out of there. 
Yeah, I just think that they draw attention uh, the, unnecessarily. Mm-hmm. You know, they don't really yeah. add anything to the image. What about all the the detail on the lower left? The yeah, trees and, and those lines and all that. Are you, the, you do those add to it? I think they add to it because I like the intersection of those lines with the shadows in there. I am. I'm not a huge fan of the bushes, and I, you know, yeah, it, maybe not the bushes, but yeah, the, I don't know. I don't oh, know. The steps with the lines, I absolutely love that. Um, the bushes. See, I couldn't not... even tell they were steps. My brain was trying to figure out what they were. Like, is that a trellis? Are those steps? Or you yeah. know, yeah, it's it's interesting. Yeah, you can see the shadows of the people going down the steps, and that's what made me realize that they were steps because it's it they're elongated, you know, mm-hmm. down the steps. Yeah. Um, so you know, I would probably play with the crop a little bit and try to uh, try to get the trees out of there as much as possible, um, because I think that the the, the trees don't add anything to the image and i think that the the geographical lines of the steps and then the humans and the movement and everybody's in step and there's like a looks like maybe like a a little kid on the right with like a parent or somebody that's knelt down with them i mean there's so many interactive stories going on in here uh the bushes the bushes just don't add anything for me yeah yeah i like it i like it pulls you in though it definitely pulls you into the Yeah. So yeah, yeah, let us know, Twip Pro members. Uh, you know, comment on Armando's photo and let us know if you can spot yeah. what's uh, what's special about this shot. Yeah. Don't read the description. <laughs> yeah, not try right not away. to read it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Armando. Thank you. Yeah. Brilliant. All right. Next shot up is from Craig Stamfley. This is this is great as well. Uh, yeah. He posted this early, and I just I loved it because the shadows are the characters. Yeah. Yeah, right. I love the shadow of the ball that it so gives you the, the the your brain calculates the height of the ball based on how the shadows are falling and the shadow of the ball. I love that cuz you're like, okay, it's about that high then. You automatically you your brain knows, okay, that's in the air. Yeah, yeah. Well, that took me a second to to realize too cuz I looked at the cones and I thought, well, you know, I might take the cones out. Um, but I understand it's soccer practice and then you're drawing a line there or football practice. Um, and then that's drawing a line there and he's kicking from there. Like, okay, that's great. Um, but I wondered like, what is that thing in the middle? That's distracting. And then. Oh, the dot. Yeah. The shadow of the ball. It's the ball. Yeah. Uh Yeah. I wonder if this would look better in, in black and white though. You're just you're just spoiled by Armando's shot. That's why <laughs> uh, the shadows would pop more. But the problem is, is that the green is going to go gray, and it, it we're not going to have a lot of contrast. So it's probably not going to look great in black and white. Yeah, yeah. I think Very I like, it like this because I like I like you know seeing the red pop on the guy's jersey and yeah, I kind of like it like this. Yeah, I'm I'm curious if if Craig shot this intentionally so that the shadows stand out or was this sort of a great shadow shot while he was photographing these guys playing Hmm. or both or both there you go i love shadows shadows are great shadows are good without light there'd be no shadows and without shadows there'd be no light i don't think it works that way no no i don't think shadows make light but light makes shadows but all light wait well, maybe not. Not in a vacuum, right? <laughs> I can see Stephen Sharp over there with his arms crossed, shaking his head. No, Frederick, they don't. No, yeah. Like, like cold light can exist without shadows, Frederick. <laughs> it's like it's like heat and cold. Cold yeah. is not a thing. It's simply the absence of heat. Yeah, but that makes it a thing. No. It, yes. It, no. <laughs> There's no. It's not a measurement of cold. It's a measurement of the absence of heat. So there. But, but cold, you're still measuring the absence of heat, which makes it a thing if it's measurable. You're not measuring cold though. <laughs> well, what if what if the thing that you care about is the absence of heat, and that's what you want to measure? <laughs> <laughs> I can. I'm here all day. I can argue this. <laughs> Somebody's somebody's gonna gonna correct us, which is good because I know we I know. Are <laughs> shadow? Yeah, here we go. Are shadows a thing, or are they just a artifact of light They're interrupted? Light. It's light interrupted, though. Right? It is, but without light, there's no shadows. But you can have no shadows, but and still have light. But they exist. <laughs> <laughs> They exist. The interruption exists. I'm just saying. All right. Stephen Scharf, 
We need you to weigh in on this. Actually, we need we need two horsepower. We need Stephen Sharf and Don Komarechka to weigh in. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's already too technical for me. I know. You can just go sit down in the back of the auditorium. <laughs> play, yeah, play on my phone. Play Scrabble. Mm-hmm. All right, Craig Stanley, man, thank you. Beautiful shot, Craig. I, I like it. And you've, it. you've, you've opened up a discussion now. You know, <laughs> our, our shadow's a thing. <laughs> yeah. I say yes, shadows are a thing. And uh, Craig, uh, uh, Troy says no. All right, next shot is from Eric Pronsky. Very nice. See, yeah. now this I want to see a bride in. I want to see a person. Right, yeah. Well, But would you, though? Because she'd yep. have shadow on her. No, she wouldn't have shadows on. You'd her. put she her between those. A shadow. Yeah, she would create a shadow in there. Well, she could stand in the shadow with a pillar, um, but these are these are the kind of spaces that I look for. You know, when I when I'm at a wedding facility, because putting somebody in the light against the wall, um, having that light come in on them, it's very graphic. It, it graphical. It's it's amazing. So. Yeah. yeah, there. When I was in uh, where was it? Paris? Yeah, Paris. There was lots of archways like this. I know you're watching me, aren't you? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Troy's cropping. <laughs> cropping, yeah. You can't see me. Um, but now they I can. <laughs> so yeah, I'm like, I'm like doing this. Like, like Frederick can see me. I know he can see me in the little screen doing it. Yeah. Um, yeah. In uh, in this image, what, I, what I'm thinking is is that the whole upper archway is unnecessary. So if we were to crop just above the light arches, all the way to the back. Mm-hmm. And turn this into simply light and shadow, where mm. it's only the light and shadow. We don't have to see the physical archway above. Oh, so you, you know don't have what I mean? to see. You don't have to see what's causing the shadows. But then, if you don't see what's causing the shadows, do the shadows really exist? <laughs> <laughs> for the I sake had of, to go there. I for had the to sake go. of time, I'm not going to respond <laughs> because that's just fuel for the fire. <laughs> Oh, I love it. This is a great conversation. We're, this is not going to end. It's not going to end. No, no. <laughs> this is going to be the next member mixer topic. I know it. Yes, it will live in infamy like some other things I know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, geez. it's always there. You just have it all the time. I have it on the ready, man. <laughs> Notice there's not very many shadows. There are not very many shadows no. anymore. Well, there's, I'm sure there's a shadow being cast on the back of your neck from the uh, mullet, though. <laughs> yeah, there is. It was very hot. It was very hot. Oh, man. I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to show up, man. It's a meme. I'm sharing that. I got to share that photo with, the, photo with the Twip community so it can show up in unexpected places. Oh, my God. <laughs> So Eric, maybe we I should do it. We should. That should be the future of future critique, where you have to do something special with that image. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I love it. All right, Eric Pronsky, thank you, man. For the I, show. Lo- I love the shot, Eric. Good job. Do, yes, a little cro- a little cropping, buddy. Do some cropping. Get rid of that negative space at the top. Maybe take the pillars out on the left and focus on the shadows. Yep, love it. Jack Hubs, welcome to the community, Jack Hubs. Hey, hey brand new member. Nice, I like and this. the shadow knows. This is the shadow. This this, this definitely funny. reminds me of that show. Yeah, look at now. Look at that key line. Look at that treatment. Look at that border. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, he's got it in there. Look at that. Big big points. Big points for that one. Um, I, I, it's great. It's subtle. It's an, e- it's an easy story to tell, right? Like mm-hmm. a, we, we get it. We get it. Yeah. This looks like a gunslinger. It's a gun gunslinger in the old West. He's all dressed in all black on his way to do something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like the treatment, the, the, the soft tone of the image. That's w- very well done. Would you, would you have switched this to black and white or you think it's okay in color? No, I think it's I think it's really good in color. I mean, we don't have a color in here that is distracting to us. If this was oversaturated, for example, where the greens and the yellows and and those kind of colors were taking away from the shadow or the shape or the 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 mood of the image, I would say, you know, let's desaturate or monochromatic uh, move. But it, it works really well the way it is. Yeah, I like it. I like it. This is cool. Good. Jack Hubs, welcome to the community, man. Yeah, very nice. And everyone, welcome Jack Hubs to, to the family. Yes. All right. Next shot up is from Karen Sweeney. Ooh. 
Look at that. Is this, I didn't read her caption on this. Is this an, is this an artifact of the Don Komarechka demonstration, I wonder? Uh, I am going to guess that this is like shadows on, on the surface of water. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what that looks like to mm -hmm. me. Um, which is immediately, uh, I, I love this. I have, I have hundreds and hundreds of images that are abstracty like this. That's what I hunt for. And in infrared, it's really amazing because reflections and stuff in water go really weird. <clears throat> so, you know, weird, abstract, black and white, I'm down. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Again, it's modern art, right? Yes. Yes. I like the vertical striations. I, I would play with cropping though in setting those striations or basically we'll call those, you know, the, the, the darker shadows, mm -hmm. putting them on a skew, like, you know, maybe, oh. maybe they look better on a skew. I don't know. I'm just saying it's worth playing with. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? I mean, cause it's, it's abstract. You can do whatever the heck you want with it. And the, um, I like the splash of blue in there. I you do. A midst yes. of sea of black and white or gray, gray scale. It's just yeah. a little bit of turquoise bluish in there is kind of cool. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There's, I, I don't really have a lot to add to this. I mean, I think it's, it's presented really well. This would be something that would print beautifully and hang, you know, uh, mm -hmm over 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 the desk at a big hotel or something right mm -hmm. yeah a lot yeah, of, sure. of apple yep yep very nice all right well, thank you karen sweeney all right lamb's up next this is great i want to know what's what's in all those packages <laughs> stuff. none of it stuff none of it looks familiar to me wait what are you saying because you can't see inside those packages it doesn't yeah. exist no they, it doesn't <laughs> exist <laughs> Hey, I've been in the forest when a tree fell, and because I wasn't there, there was no sound. It did make a sound. It was, <laughs> it was just like on the moon, if a tree falls, it won't make a sound. <laughs> no, 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 because because there's Nazis on the moon. We mm -hmm. everybody saw that. You saw that movie? <laughs> Iron Sky was that it's movie. So good. Iron Sky. If you're interested in seeing Nazis on the moon. Uh, go see that movie or go, it's on, it's on Netflix or whatever. It's, it's well done and it's yeah. not, yeah, it's not what you think. <laughs> so. It is what you think. It's, it's, <laughs> kind of is. it's good. It, kind of is. it is. Yeah. It a lot is. It's good though. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. uh, I, I love the shadows coming across the, the gentleman there, the shop owner. And I love the fact that he's not looking at the camera that it's this very candid photojournalistic grab of a slice of time. And I just, I think that's just really wonderful. Mm -hmm. I would probably crop out the red, the red door on the left. On the left. Yeah. That's, that was going to be my, my, my thoughts, like make it square, like a, a square crop yep. almost. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I agree. Yep. Cause that, then that brings us, you know, it, it's more about the shadows at that point, And it brings us into this, this, this gentleman who's doing whatever he's doing. Right. Right. And, uh, you know, on a shot like this, I would probably push the shadows and the darks down even more to obscure more of the deep shadow. Mm -hmm. And what that's going to do is that's going to bring the highlights forward. So it's going to create a little bit of depth there and then, and then create a little bit of mystery. Uh, but that's, that's my preference, but that, you know, yeah. Something worth playing with. Very nice. All right, Lamb, thank you. Thanks, Lamb. <clears throat> All right, Mark Charette. Mark Charette. Wow. That's are those all flowers? What the heck? That is No, a no, those are penguin. Right. Penguins. <laughs> Those are, not, those are not flowers. What's I'm not going to say you? what just came to my my brain. I'll just I'll just move on. <laughs> oh, I heard it. I heard it. That was rude, Troy Miller. <laughs> you kiss your mother with that mouth, man. Come oh, on. Oh <laughs> man. Oh man. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah. This, this is this. I know what you were thinking. Though, also, aside from that rude stuff, you were. <laughs> You were thinking putting a bride in the, on those steps, right? This looks just like a place where I shoot weddings. This is, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you use those leading lines. You got those stairs. You put people up there. Mm -hmm. You're um, kissing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The, I mean, Shallow this, depth of field, blur out some of that background a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I don't see a lot of shadows in this one. So, you know, my, initially I'm wondering, like, 
you know, where's the shadow story in this? And it could just be the shadow play across the stairs. Um, it's not obvious. Yeah, it's not. I agree. Yeah, the 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 there are shadows because there's shadows everywhere, right? For the most part, but here maybe not everywhere if you ask Troy Miller, but they're, <laughs> they're, but they're not the subject of the image, right? They're not the hero in the shot. The flowers and the and the the vanishing point of the steps are the is the hero and the subject of the shot, not the not the shadows. Right, right, and and I think that whatever that obelisk is at the top, um, that's really the subject matter because it's the brightest point. If if we want to play with shapes and shadows, you know, we could crop the stairs right right at the top, and then crop it square so we get a little bit of the flowers and then mostly the stairs, and then you know tweak the shadows and the highlights until something very graphical comes out of it, and then we'll see a lot more shadows and things. But yeah, um, and this looks like a like an HDR maybe like a stack. Do you think so? I'm curious. Yeah, Mark, let us know. I don't know. Or, or something. I, I would, yeah. the I would think it's just shot at a like, you know just a just a small aperture. I think the highlights have been pulled back in the sky because uh, mm. you can see around some of the needles of the trees mm-hmm. uh, that blue yeah. sat- is saturating in there. It looks to me like maybe those were it was the sky was pulled back a bunch. I think if if I were to tweak this shot, what I would do is uh, crop in a little bit. Like I don't I don't need yeah. to see that road and the curb. Uh, at the front, maybe just above there, even that first rung in the steps. Right. right? I agree. Yeah. Crop, crop up a little bit and maybe in a little bit on the sides. Uh, but it, it, I just feel like it feel like it's a great shot that needs a, a hero in it. Yes. Yes. Like something, you know, like someone yeah. sitting there on the steps or a couple on the steps or something. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I agree. Cool. Thank you, Mark Charette. Mark has been instrumental in me, um, you know, sort of polishing up my LinkedIn profile and getting that part of the of my world ready for prime time again. So, right. Right. Yeah. The interview you did with Mark on LinkedIn was quite revealing. I didn't realize that it was that that deep of a community. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do another one with a fellow by the name of Jeff Rogers, who's also a LinkedIn expert, and he's going to get some 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 insights into the service as well and how you can maximize it and wrangle it to your will. Very cool. All right. Next shot is from Mark Harris. Oh, this is right up your alley, man. Portrait. I, I love this. And, and I got to tell you that, um, you know, I don't like appendages being uh, cut off, mm-hmm. but in, in mighty, when you go to the post, uh, she's cut off, her head is cut off right above, right below her bottom lip. And, and right uh, below her left hand. And I love that crop. I thought mm. it was I thought it was very, very dark and mysterious. And I really dug it. And then I clicked on the post. And then, of course, there's this, which is just as beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, but it just goes to show how a crop can make such a difference in the storytelling out of yeah. an image. Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you noticed, you know, your feedback resonated with Tim Ingle. He is very seldom does Tim Ingle amputate anybody anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Tim does not need my advice. He's 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 an amazing photographer without me. But yes, he is. Yes, he is. We can learn a lot from Tim Ingle. Yeah. 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 This is this is really wonderful. Mark, I, I love this image. I don't really have a lot to add other than. Um, you have a lot of subjects within subjects here from the shadows on her chest to her hands to the crop, the way that that mighty unintentionally cropped, you know, the preview thumbnail and stuff to play with the mysteries in there and 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 just, you know, experiment with that a bit. Yeah, this shot is timeless, too, because I look at the shot and I, I feel like if if you if you sepia tone this side this shot, it would feel like it was from the 30s or 40s. Right. Right. Yeah. The the placement of her hands is very delicate, uh, Mm -hmm. you know, where she's just kind of grabbing that index finger on her left hand. Those kind of things, the casual lift of her chin, um, you know, the the camera right, the left side of her face is obscured in shadow. You know, again, I've already said this a couple of times, but like these types of images, I like to take the shadows way down and let the light 
come in at the proper exposure as opposed to try to try to feed the light and the shadow. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, cause shadows don't really exist. So play to the light cause the light actually exists. Lights, <laughs> lights are actual photons. Shadows are absence of photons, which exists, so, <clears throat> which is like exist. saying dark matter doesn't exist. <laughs> dark matter makes up most of the universe. I'm just saying, <laughs> well, I could go on. I could go on. Uh, and we will. We're going to discuss and this we ad nauseum. Yeah. Just wait till the member mixer. I'm bringing this up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, just this is just such a wonderful canvas and such a great image where it's at. So yeah, good job. Yep. Thank you, Mark Harris. All right, Michael DeRay is up next. Nice. Yes. Look at that shadow. That 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 dog shadow looks like an alien. It looks like a like a space <laughs> invaders alien. <laughs> it does. <laughs> <clears throat> it does no yeah, it looks really cool i mean you could you could even crop out the crop out the puppy and you still have a really great shot because you got that shadow mm -hmm. you know that's kind of yeah and then the you'd story. be like what the heck is that is that a horse is that a what yeah right right yeah good treatment look at that nice key line around it separates it really nice from the background <sighs> pandering <laughs> yeah well what's right is right that's all i can say that's true that's true that is true yeah, if he if he cloned this dog out of there, that would be reminiscent of uh, another shot we've seen recently. Yep, I might crop it up from the bottom just a smidge. Um, I, I, it looks like you've balanced the space between the top of the dog and the bottom of the shadow, but I think that there's too much space at the bottom. You, you want to give the you want to give the puppy some place to go. Right? Yeah, yeah. So just tighten up the bottom. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, Michael DeRay, thank you for the Space Invader attacking the <laughs> yeah, dog. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, Michael Reynolds up next. Look at these shadows, man. Oh, that's so nice. And look, he's in the dunes. Oh, my gosh. See, it's making you long for the ATV, right? Yeah, just to walk in the dunes. I love the dunes. Yeah, we were just out at the uh, in Zion at the Coral Pink Sand Dunes, which is in uh, Kanab, Utah, just outside of Zion. We always drive out there. It's really neat. Nice. Um, I love this. I, I, I like the shadow a lot. I like the, you know, the story that's happening there. I just wish that it was more isolated. Um, the shadow itself. Yeah. You, because, Cause there's, there's a lot of elements in here, right? So you've got the shadow to the right and whatever those, that ri little ridgy thing is. Um, you've got clouds up there and you've got uh, a mountain range in the distance and then the closer dune and then this plant that's casting the shadow. So your brain is kind of like, okay, what, there's a lot going on here. What should I look at? I would like to just see the shad, the, the plant or have the focus or the crop be on just the plant and the plant shadow. So, you know, instantly right. this is about these long shadows that this plant is casting. Right. And, and, you know, the, the, the plant itself isn't, uh, backed by something that helps it separate from the subject, whether it's, you know, a brightness or it's a shallow depth of field or focus, you know, it, it feels a little bit flatter than I think it needs to be. You know, there's all these wonderful textures. So maybe shooting lower or shooting higher and moving to the right to isolate that, um, that grass against a bright part of the dune, yep. you know, and then picking up the shadow as a leading line coming in from the lower left, you know, I mean, we didn't, we didn't stand there. So it's hard for us to see what the, what the space sure. looks like. Yeah. Would you manipulate this? Like for a shot like this, where, you know, it's, it's art, it's not photojournalism. Would you go in and take that shadow out on the, on the lower third right side there and, you know, do some other things? Oh to yeah. It? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I would do a do lot. Some sky I mean, limb sky replacement, maybe. <clears throat> yeah, I would take the footprints out on the dune on the left, mm -hmm. um, stuff like that. Yeah, I would, I would tune it up a lot because that's just what I like to do. I like to get it to where it should look like when I show up, but it doesn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's like photography. I was talking to someone else about this. It's like um, I'm gonna put us on the screen for a second. Um, it's like photography is uh, depending on your genre of photography. It's like you, it's your idealized version of how you'd like to perceive the world in a lot of ways. Right. Right. Like even your right. in your weddings, when you're doing weddings and you're shooting, photographing people, it's it's what you think that how they should remember this day, you know, yeah. and, and it's up to you on that. You know, and on that, the, the topic came up. I was I was speaking with someone about boudoir photography and 
the the conversation went to do you retouch and is it ethical to retouch a boudoir photograph and he said something very similar to what you said i think one time where i think you said something to the degree of it if it's if it's a permanent if it's permanent i'm not gonna i'm not gonna touch it but if it's not non-permanent like pimples or a scar that's healing or some other thing that showed up unfortunately at the time of the photo i'm gonna leave right. that alone Right. So, right. I don't know. It's interesting. And I, I, I came at that, that conversation. It's a really interesting conversation. I think you'll enjoy it, Troy, because I came at it as he was taking the, the whole um, standpoint of, you know, women are beautiful and they are, you know, women are beautiful and I, it, it's not my job to change them, do this, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I was looking at it like, yes, that's true. But what if you want to use your superpowers to create what she thinks is the ideal, ideal version of herself? You know, is that wrong to do that no, versus it, being photojournalistic about it and celebrating the reality? What about celebrating the fiction that they want to perceive themselves as? Yeah, you know? I don't know. Well, you, you, you know, you could take that. You could take that even further as to, you know, if somebody puts on makeup, um, are they enhancing what they what they look like or how they see themselves or are they mm -hmm. altering it? Yeah. Um, and I think that that's our own personal vision, you know, like right. the, the shirt that I wear, or the hat or the glasses that I choose or hairstyles that we choose, like that's, that's all fine. That's our expression. So, you know, if you're an artist and your art is to create flawless boudoir and they hire you for that, then I think that your, your ethical boundaries are broader because they've, been, they've hired you to create that look. Yeah, um, sure. but if you're a photographer that doesn't do that, then you just don't do it on your own. You know, mm -hmm. like like for me, uh, a wedding photographer, I mean, I'm not trying to make flawless boudoir style fashion portraits. I'm documenting the day, telling a story, relationships, things like that. I don't think that I have the latitude to do that level of editing, you know. So yeah. I, I think it kind of depends on your business and what you're sort of promising your client. Would you here, – here's a hypothetical, then we'll get back mm -hmm. to the critique. Sorry for derailing. I'm just curious about this. Um, but in in the case of like a wedding day mm – -hmm. You've got a guest there or, you know, someone of import, you know, of uh, a member of the family that must be photographed. And this person has, say, a lazy eye and you could easily fix it within Photoshop to have them not have a lazy eye in the, in the group shot. Mm -hmm. Would you fix it or would no. you leave it? I'd leave it. I leave it because it's exactly the same thing as if somebody has a has a cast on their foot or they have a scar. If they're self-conscious about it, they'll tell me. They'll be like, hey, is it OK if I'm on the right side or the left side? Um, other than that. No, it's it's that's who they are. And, and my mm -hmm. reference to the cast or things like that is I might position them in a way that minimizes that in lighting or posing or whatever. But I don't make a huge deal out of it. Yeah. You know, that's, it's that's like in 30 years. They look back at those photos and they'll see the cast. We're like, oh, that was when we had that motorcycle accident. Right, right. <laughs> that's that's reality yeah. today. Um, now my subject matter, like my bride, and my groom, if I know that they have had, you know, maybe something removed on their neck or a surgery or a thing, I'll ask them, like, do you want me to, to minimize that or hide that? And then sometimes they'll be like, yeah, that's fine. Or a tattoo or like, nah, I don't care. It's fine. Just leave it. Interesting. We communicate a lot. So, so we know, but no, I would never, I would never fix that. Cause that's, the, that's who that human is. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Sorry for derailing that. <laughs> the conversation that had nothing to do with this shot that Michael Rhino put in the critique. <laughs> Sorry, Michael Rhino. But Michael, you get points for for somehow being involved in the derailment. Yes, yeah, you triggered that that train of thought. You know, the retouching train of thought. Right, right. Awesome. All right, moving right along. Thank you, Michael. Mike Doran is up next. What do you think about this shot? You know, it's a it's a really cool shot. I mean, I like I like the the use of uh, whatever software he did to to drop the sky in and luminar. The image luminar. And, he said luminar. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. I did read the description. So I mean, I like the storytelling of it. It's it's really fun. Um, it's not a strong shadow subject, mm -hmm. uh, but it's a but it's a fun shot. It's it's cool. Yeah, and I think Mike Noren put two images in this week. I think this is the we can only critique one. Mike, you've been doing that two for thing, man. <laughs> so we're, gonna, <laughs> we're gonna go with one image. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, well done, though. I mean, it's very clean. I like it. Yeah, it's interesting the color palette he chose because he's got kind of like that that cyan greenish hue on the bleachers there. 
Um, and then it's, you know, which which gives it evokes nighttime. It makes you feel like, OK, this is this is a nighttime shot, obviously. And we've got sure. the we've got the Milky Way uh, in there as well. So, yeah, it, it's an interesting shot for sure. Cool. I would I think I would have gotten whatever that blue thing on the left side is. I would have got rid of that. Yeah. And cropped in to get get rid of yeah. that. Maybe cropped in and up a little bit. Yeah, I definitely cropped that stuff out. But this is cool. It's good to see uh, non motorsport shots from Mike Doran. It's yeah. kind of motorsports though, right? I think it's at a track. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, something. that's true. So. That's true. It's still in that world. <laughs> he yeah. snuck it in. Yeah. Uh, we see what you're doing, Mike. Cool shot though. Thank you. This is the other Mike Doran shot. See, why did this one have to come up second, Mike? I like this shot. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we can't talk about it in the context of shadows, but we can give you kudos for this awesome shot. I'm, I'm going on. This is Yosemite, right? Yeah. Do you know what that waterfall is right there? Uh, I know. Oh, I know me. you don't know what it is. It's Bridal Veil Falls. Wait, it's what? It's Bridal Veil. Okay. What's special about that? It's Bridal Veil Falls. It's the one you see when you drive through Tunnel View. Oh, okay. Well, I, I have seen it. I think we've hiked. Can, you can hike up to that, right? Uh, the top? No. No, no, to the to the to, to the, the base, base of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a trail. Yeah, we've we've made that hike. <clears throat> yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's longer than you think. This one. Yes. <laughs> it's not a hey. Let's just go up there. You get halfway and you realize you you've only gone halfway and you're tired. You're like, oh, we can't go back now because it would be just like going. Yeah, that's where I proposed to Margie right there. Really, at the, at the base of Broadville. Yeah, that's the scene of the crime. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. That's where it all happened. <laughs> How many years before this was that? <laughs> I don't know. Three years, maybe. Uh, okay. It's right. had an excuse to put. We're that gonna on the get screen. even somehow. I gotta find some interview you did or something. <laughs> uh, let's just let's just marinate on the shot for let's a minute, not. shall we? Yeah, these this family would not have happened had it not been for this location. So <laughs> maybe it would have. Cool. <laughs> I had to do it, man. I had to do it. All right, next shot. Peter Lefshin. Peter. Yeah, this is very cool. He uh Is Peter hang gliding? Is that what's going on? I think he said he was in the in the glider. Like that's how you would have to do it if it's his shot. I was gonna right? say, yeah. How else would you get the shot unless it's a drone shot that's flying below the uh the glider right the hang glider right yeah that would be really weird so mm -hmm. no it's it's a really cool shot i like i like the the angle of the view you know coming through on an angle um i i would i would probably crop off the left side i don't think we need most of that left that's in there mm -hmm. i'd like to see the whole thing move to the left a little bit so like we say to give yeah. the boat some place to go yeah i think that would and help you, a lot yeah and this a shot like this with with that kind of that water is what content aware scale loves in Photoshop. So <laughs> you, you could easily stretch this image out and give it more space on the right side and chop some off the left. Yeah. Yeah. I think this was an image that <clears throat> Peter went back and reworked in Capture One. So it's nice to see that he's using that tool and tweaking his work with it. Mm -hmm. I guess. But I love though. the image. Yeah, it's really cool. It's very creative. And you have this mix with this shadow that we know is like a hand glider. Mm -hmm. And then this this boat that looks old right like old it's, and new. Uh, yeah. yeah yeah kind of mix of cultures too yeah I'm, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that that i'm not getting in that water anytime soon that does not look <laughs> <laughs> that is not water that somebody like craig stanfley would be shooting in his shots <laughs> right right exactly exactly sweet all right yeah. peter very cool steven scharf is up next steven and those models yeah yeah, playing with that. I yeah. my favorite my favorite part of this whole image is the reflection. Mm hmm. You know, yeah. it, it, it 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 almost be like you know crop it off and just just do the reflection and have just enough detail in the reflection to tell you you know maybe what it is. Oh yeah, yeah, and maybe flip it. Oh yeah, that would be cool too. Yeah, flip it and crop out the the real car and have give it a little bit more space above that the fin. And make that the shot, because then that's shadow, right? That's yeah. Shadow. Yeah. Yeah. It's lit really well. I really mm -hmm. love that. I'm I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of the background, you know, with that 
definitive hard line. The full horizon back there. Yeah, yeah I wish it was black all the way, just mm. all the way black. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't think we need that gradient in there. Um, or, I mean, if, if you didn't want to do all black all the way, if it was a, just a, a subtle fade out, you know, or I don't know. Just yeah, so, like you know, an in. An infinite, yeah. an infinite horizon as yes. opposed to Thank you. yeah that's what i was looking for yeah that yeah yeah that's yeah cool I agree. Shot. yeah very nice there's a story behind all these models that peter er, that uh steven has yes i want to know, know the story because there's a story behind each one of them because they're he's, they show up every now and then in the critiques yeah yeah and there's a story behind why he has possession of these and what the story is behind each of these i'm going to get to the bottom of it <laughs> that's another it's another topic for a future mixer <laughs> yep yep that's true yeah that's very true mm-hmm all right tim ingle tim that's yeah. really that's really cool yeah uh, she looks almost like a mannequin yeah i you know i just i just love the play of light i would probably though i would obscure her eye even more um, I, I feel like the eye doesn't need to be there, but that's just totally preference. It's kind of creepy with the eye coming out, but I don't mm -hmm. see any light in there. So it seems weird that the eye would stand out. Um, so I would really? like it think, better. I think it's, yeah, 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 yeah. It is kind of cause, cause our eye is open. It's kind of in lifeless almost. So it's like, what's going on here? Right. Is she okay. But I like the pl I like the I like the fact that that light is only only showing like her mouth and her lips and then a little bit of her nose and a little bit of her cheek and then you know her sh her shoulders are super shallow up the field and the right side or left side of her head. Um, I love all that. That is just mm -hmm. so creative. And his blacks aren't black. Are you good with the blacks just being slightly north of black? Yeah, I am. I mean, I I like it. I think it's I think it fits an intention. Um, and I know that Tim likes that look too, so I know that he he intentionally puts it there. So knowing the body of Tim's work, I appreciate that that that's what he does, and I like it. Mm -hmm. And it's yep. it's actually in, inspired me to play with that a little bit in some of the styles that I do. Yeah. Very nice. That's what that's what Twit Pro is all about. Photographers, yep. you know the uh, the tagline, the unofficial tagline is photographers talking to and helping each other. Right. In an airport lounge. In an airport lounge. Yes. In an airport lounge. Love it. Yeah. All right. Next Great shot. Great shot, Tim. Yeah. The last shot of the batch is from a famous photographer we all know. <laughs> Troy Miller. <laughs> I had to put a shadow in. <laughs> I love it. I love it. What is this? Is it an inverted hook or what's what's going no, on? No, that's actually a handle for a panel on a locomotive. So, we, oh, okay. So, like, if you were going to strap something to the locomotive, you'd you'd use this as sort of a tie down thing. No, no, you rotate that; it opens a door. Oh, okay, okay, got it. Got yeah. It. So, there's a train museum in uh, in Paris, um, uh, Southern California. In uh, what do they call it? It's just a Paris train museum. Anyway, they have tons of locomotives and engines and cars and stuff down there, and it's just oh, it's amazing to walk around and, and see all the textures. And there's shadows everywhere chains and handles and rails and yeah i have a whole series of those this is one of my favorite love it but why didn't you clean up clean up those little specks along the left edge there um because i didn't <laughs> i didn't see them in the <laughs> brief time that i i put this in at a you know like 15 minutes saying. before we started no um, it's completely, oh excuses huh oh okay. yeah it's an excuse no it's <laughs> it is absolutely unacceptable and now now that i'm looking at it and i'm critiquing it my handle's out of focus which yep. upsets me it is it so is this slightly. is this is no longer one of my favorite shots. And yeah. there's two little little uh, things that I would have cloned out too to make that orange rust more uniform. See those little things in the upper right? Yeah. The upper yeah. Right We're no longer looking at corner. this image. Yeah, we can move on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you put it in there. <laughs> well, that's the last image. Um, so have, I, th I think we both have a favorite. Do right? you have Kai's video? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I, I made. Thank you for reminding me of that. I do. Let me bring that up really quick here. If 
browser will cooperate. All right, so uh, I have it up now. You ready to take a look? Yeah, let's look at it. All right, let me switch over to that screen. Here it is. And I'm gonna play it. This is the first video I think that we've had submitted. Yeah. Okay, playing. Look at those shadows creeping in. Wow. I like how the horizon, you know, there's that, it's a light on the horizon, then eventually it gets dark. Yeah, oh my God, look at that Milky Way. Wow. That's not far from 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 me. I can get there easy. Really? <laughs> yeah, I've never That's been there. It's so weird when people say, "Yeah, you got a good shot of the Milky Way." It's like you're in the Milky Way. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you got a shot. Yeah. Well, we're on the of, edge. An, of 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 the, the arm edge. of the Milky Way. Yeah, we're on the arm. Yeah, uh, we think. <laughs> so, no, no one's ever gotten a shot of the entire Milky Way and said you're right here. Right. Yeah. This, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, maybe. Yeah. Did we? I don't know. No, we have no. probes that have left. The... You can't get far enough away from the Milky Way to get a shot of the entire Milky Way. No. We have a probe that's left the Milky Way. Um, But I don't know if it's taken a shot looking back at the Milky Way. Yeah. And how long would it take for that light signal with the picture to get back to us? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like so 30 many, years. <laughs> we're challenging so many technical issues this year. So many, I mean, this, this episode, so many scientific things that we don't know. I know, I know that whole pesky speed of light thing. It's all light related though, Look, right? I can calculate all... exposure in my head. That's all I need to do. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I can calculate exposure with this thing right here. Yeah. Uh, I... <laughs> I have one of those. You got the Siconic? I do, yeah. Oh, nice. I love that. Which model do you have? This that is one? the the L358. Yeah, I love yeah. that. Yeah. This thing is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, cuz I'm doing some stuff. I'm playing around with some um some special effects stuff I needed to break out the light meter for. Nice. So, nice. Yep. Well, hey Kai, cool. that is a that is a kick butt time lapse. I think that's beautiful. Um, yeah. Yeah, that is that is ridiculously beautiful. When, fairly beautiful. When you look at a time lapse and you and you watch it play like that and then it's over, you're like, "Oh, that was really nice. Like that was really beautiful." But there is so much work that goes into that. The timing, the the placement, the camera settings, the the building the time lapse later, making sure your exposures are consistent from frame to frame to frame so you don't get flicker. Um, and if you go in, if you're part of the Twip Pro community, you can watch it there. It's 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 superb. You know, mm -hmm. getting each exposure just so so that you don't get light streaks in the in the um, stars. And then of course, as the light drops off. You know, you've got to maintain that exposure throughout so that it, you don't you don't see a weird transition in color and flicker. And so yeah. kudos. Uh, kudos. He is a master kudos. of time lapse, though. He does a lot. He of is. He yeah. is. He is. Yeah. Uh, superpowers. He's a time traveler. I put him in that category. <laughs> yeah. He is a time yeah. traveler. We are all time travelers and our cameras are time machines for sure. So. Definitely. I agree. Yep. So uh, do we have a favorite? I think we do. I think it's Armando's. Yeah, I think we want to go with Armando. I like Kai's is amazing, so no, no doubt about that. Right. But as far as the shadow topic goes, let me bring up Armando's real quick. If I yeah, I'm looking it. over here too. So let me bring that one up. All right, here it is. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Right Yay! There. Look at Dang that. And do you want to talk about the secret in there? Like what, no. what we found special? Okay, yeah, leave, it, leave it to the community to comment. Nah, on it. they can find it. That's what makes it so killer. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Well, congratulations, Armando. We love that shot. It's very yeah, cool. yeah. Very Not cool. only is it a good use of shadows, uh, it's well treated. The the color palette, obviously monochromatic, <clears throat> um, but the creativity, the art, the artistic side of this is is very well done. So, yep. kudos. Very good, sir. Thank you. Now I'm going to do this. I'm going to copy. I'm going to do it too. I have some ideas. <laughs> I have some ideas. When, uh, when I went to visit Stephen up up there uh, at your end of the the country, um, we were down at uh, I don't know like City Hall or something, and there were some guys down there on bikes, and they were riding, and they had these beautifully long shadows. I remember those shots. You shared those. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna borrow some of Armando's creativity and and maybe play with that. It, like Microsoft would say, you're not borrowing you're embracing and extending embrace and extend <laughs> remember that <laughs> yeah yeah so uh once again to remind folks next week's uh, critique topic is photograph your favorite 
song. Your, I'm going to expand that. Maybe it should be photograph your favorite genre. Because favorite song is kind of hard. I don't know. You know, over my entire lifetime, I don't have like one song that I would take on a desert island with me. Make a photograph that represents your favorite music. Something yeah. something in music. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Okay. Yeah. Photograph, photograph music. There you go. Photograph music. That is the topic. Let me write that down so I don't forget. So I, <laughs> I know. I wrote it down too. <laughs> <laughs> photograph music. Because it's seven okay. days away. We'll forget by then. By then it'll know. be gone. <laughs> Those brain cells will be like gone somewhere in the bay by then. <laughs> well, cool, man. All right. Well, that's it for this critique. Yeah. Um, any any parting thoughts before we close it off? Nope. Uh, nothing different than stay safe and try to be creative. You know, yep. just, just, you know, stay safe. We'll get through this. I mean, like we all know where we are right now, but watching this in, in history, you know, our past, our future selves will be watching this being like, what are you guys talking about? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we're on, we're on quarantine and uh, we're like 30 to 45 days in. So uh, it's important that we all stay safe. Yeah. Yeah. Let's for us a, and for others. A, yep. Some of us are on quarantine. <laughs> others are running amok. So, yeah. You know, yeah. We'll I'm just, I'm just going to say, if you're one of the people that went to the beach, tisk tisk. Mm-hmm. Yep. Darwin. That's it. <laughs> Darwin. <laughs> cool, yeah. All right. That's it for this, this episode. We'll see you. I'll see you all and you, Troy Miller next week. You got it. All right. Take care, my Bye. friend. Peace. Bye, guys. This is Twitter.